see it as a carryover of that. I feel like I'm not getting at your answer. Though. What you looking for? I think that we were slowly, that would be slowly giving Superman the, the kryptonite. That's what I would say is the deculturalization. Uh, uh, cultural misorientation, right, is what uh, Cambone, what Cambone would say, Kobe Cambone. Uh, cultural misorientation, where you get, you start to think up is down and down is up, right? And again, I like to use a Superman example, to where, you know, he actually started believing he was Clark Kent. His, he, his name is Kyle L. L being, he's a God name. He has a God name, but he was, if he really was tricked into thinking he was Clark Kent for real and forsaken all those powers that he had, that's cultural misorientation, right? That's deculturalization. He, he forgot about Krypton and started really thinking he was only an earthling. You follow? And so I think that's what happened to us. We all have a God name, but you know, it's been beat out of us. And there you call yourself that, right? Right. Yes, ma'am, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, yes, but African traditional spirituality, we know the difference between someone to follow and someone not to follow. Mm -hmm. While this young man, I believe, probably had a fabulous destiny, there is something that happened in his life that cut that short. Absolutely. And there were things that he did that are not things that people should follow or idolize. I appreciate your bringing out those positive things in his life that we can look at, but there were so many things that took his life early, that we have to make sure that we do not follow. Yes, and which part of Africa are you from? <laughs> I'm an African American, but my specialty is African traditional spirituality. Nice, mine I'm too. the African studies. Gotcha, okay. So, I agree with you. As for, but see now, as according to the African worldview, it could be that his destiny was to die at 33, and nothing he did cut it short and made him stop there. In fact, everything that he did up to that point was to get him to that point where he, in that very moment where he died, in the way that he died, to send the ripple out whatever way that ripple was going to go. That's one way that we can see it from African spirituality. That's if he tells us that's what happened. Uh, have you, have you, have you, have you but cast a Mary Dillon No, but what I'm saying to Have you sworn the old family? But what I'm, yes, I know. <laughs> I mean, what have I'm you saying, done it for this? No, no, no. But what I'm saying to you is this. Anytime you have someone that's living a life that yes. you should not follow, you should know that you shouldn't follow. So, I got you. So, when you say should not follow, if it is his destiny to follow that path, who are we to say that he should not follow that? But first, we would have to know that that's his destiny. And that's destiny. my point. And we don't know. That's my point. I'm right with you on that Well, point. like I said, is I appreciate you bringing up those positive things in his life. Yes. But I don't know whether we should idolize gang bangers. I, so again, gangs or people so, that are in gangs. I don't know. Yes, you have to understand and be patient because I'm Listen from up, a different generation. Okay, I'm from a totally different. It's generation. okay. The only rapper I know is James Brown. I guess. So you. what I'm saying to you is I'm trying to understand this propensity, as this young man is saying, that we're dealing with this whole concept of idols. I too am trying to understand that. And I'm probably 40 years to see. Right, and I said it in the presentation as well. And the only thing I'm pushing back against is the fact that you were saying we should not, and, or that he did something that he should not have done. And then you came back later and admit that we don't know what his destiny was. We don't know his path. We don't know the old dude that governed his life. We don't know what. We don't. We don't. We, we don't know. We don't know what O'Reed governed his head. We don't know. We don't. Right. But spirituality, right? after the spirituality, does not. Highlight negativity, Sister, not like positive. No, see, African spirituality, what African spirituality does is says that nothing has a property in and of itself. It's how it relates to other things. Mm -hmm. That's high wisdom. I'm a priest. Of, I'm a, I'm a that priest. That is true. I'm a priest. Of, you well, can't say can but talk, after this. We can talk after You can't say but after you say can, that's true. No, no, no. We can talk after. <laughs> we won't take up the, but we can talk after. No, 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 no. See, so what, so what I'm saying, though, sister, is that I've been initiated enough into African spiritual. And so have I. I'm not. I'm not challenging you with okay. that, and I'm, not, and I'm not questioning you okay. either. Okay. Okay. I'm saying that independent of you, because mm. it exists independent of you. What I'm saying is that through all of my initiation and seeking of wisdom and self refinement work, I stand on the principle that nothing has a property in and of itself. It's how it relates to other things, and so we can judge his life. In ignorance, as we've admitted, we don't know what his path was, 
We don't know what his destiny was. One perspective in African spirituality says where he ended up was exactly where he was supposed to be. And every step he, excuse me, you know, there's nothing for you to challenge in that statement. Every step that he, according to some African spiritual traditions, this is fact. You may never heard of it, and I get it. But that don't, no, 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 no. If <laughs> sister, say if, you're saying, if you're saying no, say if you're saying no to what I'm saying right now, it either means one of two things. You haven't heard of it, or you have heard of it and you're acting like you have it. Because what I'm stating is a fact. Some spiritual traditions would say that where he ended up is exactly where he was supposed to be. And every, and every step he took to get there was the step that got him there. Mm -hmm. Then there's some other perspective that would say, as you're saying, he did some things to cut his destiny short. Those are different perspectives. Both come under the umbrella of African spiritual tradition. It just depends on the tradition that you're adhering to and what your level of adherence is. Okay. That's okay. We don't have to agree. That's I, not how African judicial spirituality which is. Which one? Which one? African traditional spirituality throughout Africa. Which one? Okay. It's not a matter of which one. But it is. If you, All you, the traditional every spirituality Every last one of them. In Africa, <laughs> it depends on where you're from. Even all, what part you're from? Where you're from? So, where your ancestry is from? I get it. If you were born out of, if you come from the Igbo tribe, or if you come from the, the Yoruba, Yoruba tribe, I you guess come from the Dogon, the Yin, whatever the case may be, yep, the Ebe that depends and on what spirits you're carrying and how you serve your ancestors and how you serve spirituality. That's what that does. So let's get that a different time. But what I was trying to explain to you was that the young man's question about idolatry makes yes. a lot of sense. And what I'm saying to you is the African traditional societies, we don't necessarily look to follow people that we see when their lives are falling apart like that. What there are that? reasons that that could be happening. Or that their destiny is cut short for some reason. Or that, that, or that, that is their destiny. Because of their own behavior. Right, or that is their destiny. I just added one more to the, to the statement. A very valid addition to the statement. You can, now see, now see what you're trying. You ain't gonna dismiss me with your young buck. You don't know how old my soul is. I could be your grandfather, according to African spiritual tradition. Yes, I could be. According to African spiritual tradition, I could be. According to African spirituality, I could be. You don't know what you're saying. It is, but it could be. Yes, ma'am. All right, y'all listen up, please. I was told by my ancestors we have to view the way we think and the way our young older generation think. And I think this is happening right here. This is what's happening. It really does. So in the Old Testament, in the book of Exodus, you know, they had to wander in the wilderness for 40 years, right? Because it was a group of them that wouldn't move. They kept trying to dismiss the younger generations who were coming up to share wisdom and knowledge as it has come through them. And so what had to happen is what they said is that we got to let that generation die before we get out the wilderness. And what that's not saying, people literally dying, it means that when their old way of thinking is freed up enough to embrace the truth, they might be looking them right in their face. If you go back and really entertain and go back and listen to that conversation again, you would say I was, on, you would say I was only adding on. I was only adding on a very valid perspective that needed to be added to that statement, else the statement was going to be false on its face. <laughs>